Another window into the Arkansas economy is a look at the commercial real estate market, and that reflects a myriad of construction and retail, industrial and financial activities. We are joined by commercial developer Matt Chandler, Managing Director of Sperry Van S. Matt, good to have you with us. Thank you, Roby. New commercial construction has been slower in recent months here, uh, last year and a half or so in Arkansas and generally nationwide. Tell me, um, are we seeing less activity because of overbuilt properties, because of tighter bank lending, or perhaps a mixture of both? Roby, I don't think we're seeing uh, overbuilt properties. I, I think you could say that a little bit about retail, but overall I think the banks and the developers have been very good about not overbuilding. Current, you know, certainly there are some vacancies out there right now, but overall I think uh, Central Arkansas is a, a still a healthy market. Obviously Northwest Arkansas has had its challenges, uh, and it's going to take a, a little bit longer for it to shake out, but Central Arkansas is still pretty healthy. Yeah, tell me about all the anecdotal stories I hear about more restrictive bank lending. Um, I mean, I know the recession and, and, some, and the troubled financial systems had some obviously led to some changes in some of those lending requirements. You know, what's the norm right now, and do you see it changing in the foreseeable future? Well, I think it, it, it already has changed. Uh, we're very fortunate in Central Arkansas that our banks are extremely healthy. Uh, obviously, there are some, some out there that have some problems, and every bank has some problem loans, but uh, several years ago you saw them changing their uh, standards, uh, looking at the appraisals more, uh, you're having to bring more down payment to the table, uh, scrutinizing the, the borrowers themselves. Uh, so I think that has already changed and I think uh, the borrowers and the, the developers uh, are accustomed to that now. Well, you mentioned that you don't think there's much overbuilt property as maybe the general public might be led to believe, but give me, give me some perspective on what's available out there. How much is available out there? What's a, what's a pretty standard deal in terms of the, the transactions that you're working on? Well, as far as space, there, there's plenty of space. Um, you know, office is running about 11% uh, a vacancy rate. Uh, retail is about the same. Industrial is a little higher. Uh, due to the fact that uh, J, uh, JM Products went out of business and Affiliated Foods uh, uh, put a lot of uh, warehouse space on the market. Leasing is still going on and this market is, is, continues to be healthy. Uh, we just need some more jobs, we need consumer spending and I think you'll see some of this space starting to fill up. Activity is much more, um, uh, activity is more in 2010 than it, than it was in 2009 and that's been a very good sign for us. Yeah, uh, Matt, give me some insight on where you're making your bread and butter right now. Is it leasing, is it sales, development, property management? Where, where's it coming from? Well, if, you, if you're a property manager, um, you're liking it right now. People are, um, you know, people are still in business and you're getting your fees off your property management, but leasing is picked up. Leasing activity is picked up in 2010. There's still some sales going on, uh, which is good. A lot of, uh, a lot of people are expanding. Uh, doing satellite offices. If they had uh, uh, an office in Little Rock, now they're expanding to Conway or Bryant. That's helped. You're also seeing some entrepreneurs out there, the people that have lost their jobs. Um, this is the time for them, they think, to, to start their own business. They're pulling their monies out of their 401ks and their, their retirements and they're, they're you know, going and, and building their dream. And that's been, that's been helpful for the leasing market too. What do you think would improve the commercial development sector right now in Arkansas? What do, you, what do you hope to see happen in, say, the next 12 to 18 months to kind of improve conditions? Well, certainly jobs. Uh, jobs would be a key in consumer spending, and that drives so many things in real estate. Uh, to uh, More jobs mean more office, uh, all, people needing offices. Uh, more consumer spending obviously helps retail, and that only uh, helps the industrial market uh, for shipping in products. So, Really, main, you know, jobs and, and consumer spending would be, the, I think, the keys. All right, Matt, give me a grade for where commercial real estate in Arkansas stands right now. A, B, C, D, or F? Oh, I, I think a B. Um, you know, if you look at central Arkansas, we have uh, the state capital, we have a military base, we have a phenomenal medical community, uh, and we have uh, several colleges. The, you know, those four things, I think sometimes we forget how important they are to central Arkansas's economy. So I think overall a B and, and pretty happy about that. All right. He is Matt Chandler with Sperry Vaness. He's one of our go-to guys on Inside in the Commercial Real Estate Market. Matt, thanks for your time and your expertise. Thank you.